I'm Teresa from TransWest. Hi, this is Teresa from TransWest Truck Trailer RV in Frederick, Colorado. Today I want to show you a really great trade-in we just got. This is a 2018 Winnebago Via. The Winnebago Via is the shortest Class A diesel that you can get. So it's kind of a special and unique little unit. It is on the Mercedes uh, chassis with a V6 turbocharged diesel engine. You're gonna get incredible gas mileage in this little guy, 16 to 18 miles per gallon. And I've heard even up to 20. So wonderful little coach for touring the country. This is stock number 5U201040. I'm gonna show you some of the things that make this special. One of the first things that you'll notice is this has a full body paint. That means over time, you're not gonna have peeling and cracking stickers or decals on this coach. Um, another great feature, we have side view cameras as well as a backup camera. If you go with a Mercedes Class C, you're not gonna be getting that. So that's a little extra safety feature. Another thing that makes this very unique is that the driver has a door. So when we go inside, you're gonna see in the cab, you have a lot more elbow room and it feels a lot more spacious in the cab than it would in a Class C Mercedes. Um, also, just a really easy way to get in and out. So coming around here, we have um, 13 gallons of propane that's easy to fill down there. Over here, we have a little extra secret storage spot. So this is set up to be able to handle two sets of golf clubs, but if you're not a golfer, it really is a very deep and tall storage place for you. That storage is in our one slide out. The slide out does have a slide topper, which is a big deal for keeping debris and moisture out of your coach. So any high quality coach is gonna have a slide topper. Looks like an awning, but it's not. Over here, we've got our water bay, so you can hose off your feet if they get dirty or clean up, but that's also gonna be where your dumping is. Over here is your electric bay. And behind this cord, there is a um, button so that you can put down your uh, rear levelers. So those are gonna be like stabilizing feet so you're not gonna be swaying back and forth if it's windy or if you're walking around a bunch in the coach. Around back here, of course, we have a backup camera and a 5,000 pound towing hitch. You can bring a boat or a little tow vehicle with you. And then on the passenger side, of course, more storage. Most of your storage is usually down in these bays, which there is some on this coach. Gonna need two hands for that one. Oh, let's try this one. So this one is storage, I opened it earlier, but then we also have our diesel Cummins Onan generator, and that's gonna be cleaner burning um, and run off your diesel tank, so you don't have to worry about the propane running out because of your generator. And then we got this storage bay open for you. This is one of those that Winnebago has designed so you can rinse it out. It's plastic and it has a little drain in it. So the bottom ones, um, they thought that out. But then up here, we've got lots of storage and this is under where your bed would be. You'll also notice there's a lot of lights in here. So you can use those if you need them at nighttime. I have a beautiful 16 foot electric awning with LED lighting. It's a really nice feature to host people or to sit outside and have a campfire. I think we're ready to come on in. So this 
coach is 25 feet and five inches long. And I feel like they've packed quite a bit of living space in here. This is that slide out we mentioned earlier. And on that slide out, we have um, the booth dinette area. Now this has a table that can extend. So if you wanted to bring extra chairs and have extra people, you can do that. Or you can pretend like this doesn't exist and not invite anyone over. But this also is gonna drop down and make into a bed. Um, under both of these seating areas is a little bit of storage. So on either side, and these lift up really easily. You don't have to move a big old plank or anything. But can you see all that storage under there? Lots of room. And then one of my favorite features, footrests. So when you wanna watch TV or just kick back, have a drink, play cards, whatever it is, you got a little footrest there on both sides. This is where your main TV is. So you can sit here with friends and watch. And then of course it's right across from your kitchen. So in the kitchen here, this is your little sink that can be hidden away when you need counter space rather than the sink. And then we have a two burner propane cooktop here. This is really the, it's a splash guard to keep these from getting all messy. So that's nice that they did that. And we got your microwave. And these are all full extension drawers. I don't need to show you all of them, but lots more storage here. Over here, we have a propane electric fridge freezer. Nice size. And then right here is your sleeping area. So one thing I really love about this particular floor plan is that you get extra storage under here. So very accessible. You don't have to go outside to get your stuff, but that'll hold blankets and sleeping bags and all kinds of stuff. It's just really big. And then you'll notice this has a funny little thing here. This is actually, a sp it's like springs for your bed. So it just makes it more comfortable. And then we of course have another TV. So two TVs in this little coach and nice little reading lights and plenty of storage over the top. In the bathroom here, good sized shower, lots of headroom for the taller people with a little light and a skylight. It's always handy. And love the sink. Just a really nice modern look. This coach also has the Truma AquaGo system. So what that is is a tankless water heater. So you can have as much hot water as you have water. Love that feature. I don't like running out and having to wait for another shower. Also the door on this is pretty cool. So I just want to show you because I like the way it looks. So there's your bathroom door. Just goes really nicely with the rest of the coach. Over here, you're going to get sick of me talking about storage, but it's really important in a motorhome. So with this lights up when you open the doors, goes back really far and I actually have a cushion sitting there. So you could fold up stuff back here and then you have a hanging bar as well. And then a little dresser situation down here. So in this coach, we have two um, max fans. One is in the bathroom and one is right here. What that is, is it's basically like an attic fan. Sucks out all the air in about 20 seconds. So it's really easy to cool down the coach in a quick period of time. We also, of course, have an air conditioning unit with heat pumps and a heating system in here. So no matter what the weather is, you're going to be able to handle it with this coach. Um, also heating pads on the water tanks. So it's, it's thought out well so that you can go skiing and do whatever it is that you like to do in your coach. 
These front seats, of course, turn around as they do in every Mercedes or every Class A. Um, you'll notice that the cab um, is a little lower, so they give you these booster seats for when you're turned around. This just sits right in here, and then your knees are at a normal height, so it makes it more comfortable. It seems funny that we have boosters not for toddlers, but they actually make a lot of sense when you own one of these. Um, this front cab is really great, so let me show you that a little bit. It is very unusual to have this wide of a space and this great of a view in something this small. So you really do feel confident that you can see, it's safe, um, and it's open. Uh, a lot of the Class C's or other Mercedes are going to have a bed over you, so this one just feels very open. Plus, I also have all this extra room on the way to this door over here. So I don't know if you can get a picture of the door, but it's really handy if you need to fill up your fuel or anything, that you don't have to crawl through the seats to get out. This is real easy. And you've got a nice power window for tolls or things like that. We have powered windows. We have um, a battery boost button. What that does is that's going to take, um, if your, if your um, engine batteries are low, it'll take some power from the house batteries just to get you started so you can get on the road. So that's a really great feature. Um, you can see here we have 27,380 miles on this, which is nothing for a diesel engine. I can tell you I've driven this coach and it's very zippy. It's very easy to drive. It almost feels like an SUV. You don't feel like you're driving a huge vehicle. So I love that about these. Also the camera systems make it really easy to park. So with your backup and your side view cameras, very easy. Um, on here we also have a Rand McNally navigation screen, which is one of my favorite things. Um, the Rand McNally, you can put in your height, weight, weight, uh, length, width, etc., and it won't take you anywhere that you cannot go, uh, like a bridge that you would get stuck under or overpass or something like that. Um, it won't take you anywhere that you can't go in this RV. So super handy. It's better than using your phone that doesn't have that ability. So all in all, this is a really nice coach. You may have noticed that we have a few cracks in the front windshield. We do have a brand new one on order. So it will be replaced before you take this home. Please give me a call if you have any interest in this coach. I can get you more information, more specs, and look forward to working with you. My name is Teresa, 303-684-3427.